Hi folks, this is Paco Pascual here in Spain. I hope you all are doing great. I wanted to do this little video today just because I had a few friends asking me uh, my favorite compressor settings for the new pedal especially. Um, um, well, it's very basic, uh, but let me tell you before I show you the settings and all that, let me tell you that compressor pedals they can be really good for your tone or they can be really bad for your tone. It depends your style, the style you're playing, the kind of guitar you're playing, all that stuff uh, can be really good or can be really bad. Uh, well, the way I like it is to use it with single coils. It doesn't mean it's the correct, the correct way to use it, but it's at least the way I use it. After years of trying different things, that's the way it works for me. So I always like to use compressor pedal with single coils, especially on my Telecaster. I wouldn't use it with humbuckers or, or blades, you know, that kind of high gain pickups. I only will use it with low gain pickups. Like the Telecaster is the only guitar I play. So having said this, uh, yeah, I like to run the compressor with these settings, the settings you are seeing on the screen now. Um, because if you set the compressor with the volume too low, it will sound really like muddy and it will suck your tone away. So that's why many guys are buying a pedal, a compressor, and, and it sounds worse when it's engaged than when it's not, because it sucks the tone of your guitar away. That's the truth. But if you put the volume up, I like to put this volume up, you know, I'm um, push the amp tubes so that way you get much more better tone and you get a lot of sustain. So what it does the compressor in this case, it equals all the notes to the same level, right? So it makes your picking more consistent. It makes your picking sound all the notes at the same level, which is so good for some kind of styles like chicken picking guitar, like country guitar. It's very typical, that kind of sound. And then I said th this one, this knob here is called hammer down. This is the attack, right? I don't like the attack too, too strong. I don't like it too much attack because my picking is quite hard. That's the volume of the percussion right of the percussive notes on your pick but i'm using very thick picks this one is a v pick switch blade is the model i love it thank you vini for that it's a fantastic picks these ones and i love it. it it gets a lot of tone and they are fast you can pick so fast this was a life changing after using many picks during the years this one is my pick <laughs> so yeah i don't like the attack to too strong is because I'm picking quite hard. I'm pulling and pushing the strings really hard. Um, yeah, with this one, it's called gas. This first knob. That basically is the sustain, the amount of compression. Some guys like it on full, really compressed, but I don't think that's my style. I prefer like that, quite strong, right? Because if you take if you take this knob down, it won't do any effect. 
at all. So I like to push the tubes and have just an extra bit of sustain and compression, an extra bit, not too much. So that way you do double stops like this. You get more juicy sound, you know, more because if you switch it off, you get this. Still sound good, but it doesn't have that kind of consistency, you know, juicy sound. So basically, I I, I always have. I always have it on, on the stage, all the time like that. So when I need so much compression, I put, I, I roll my volume knob all the way up and it sounds fully compressed. And then if I don't need that much compression, I roll my volume knob a bit down, tiny bit down. I get all the dynamics of the guitar and I don't get that compression. Right, so that's the way I use it basically, but it's always on, all the time, the entire show when I play with my band. Uh, it really helps your picking to to make it equal. If you're playing fast and even in the low notes, you can hear better the percussion. Things like, for example. very sparkle and very spanky. Also when you do double stops and pedal steel leaks, for instance in, in F, let's choose that key, what a strange key, but it's good. It's really nice because it gives you that extra sustain and the same volume for all the notes, which is great. Well, folks, and that's the way I use it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like the video and keep on picking up a storm.